what's going on guys it's your boy Frankie so the 2021 Grom has finally made an appearance not available in the US yet but I've been doing a little bit of my homework to check it out and uh, I was gonna share with you guys see what you guys think about it too so as you can see on my screen right here this is the OG Grom which many of you have seen around this is the SF Grom which is the one that I own except I've got the one in orange and as we can see here this is the 2021 Grom um so first thoughts um looks like with the seat right here looks like they almost went back to the original like the OG Grom making it more flat and everything too so I don't know what do you I don't know what you guys your guys's thoughts are on this thing but I mean if I had any complaints about my Grom I'm not too crazy about the seat the seat's okay um, but from what I hear it looks like they've got a little bit more padding on the uh, the 2021 over here too so let's see so what are any new features um so obviously this is what it looks like um let's see so it is not available in you in the u.s yet however let's see um so looks like they added a five speed let's see is this a bigger version of it here we go yeah so i mean i don't know what what my thoughts really are i mean it looks okay i mean I would much rather, I, I wish I could see it in person so I can get a feel for it by sitting on it. From what I know, the seat height is still the same. Um, the engine is pretty much still the same. It's still a 125cc uh, one cylinder. Um, from what I know, this pushes out a little more horsepower and they added a five speed gearbox onto this thing too. The tires are the same, brakes are the same. Um, they added this headlight, which let's see. So let's see if we scroll down here so this headlight uh, I mean I'm not a really a fan of that headlight to me it's freaking ugly I don't know it looks more like the OG headlight which I was never really a fan of but it's supposedly it's supposed to be stronger and it looks like look now they've got an IMU controlling the ABS which I mean I don't have ABS on my Grom either I don't really care to have it on the Grom especially if you're gonna do stunts or anything like that see what else here um yeah I don't know what else new the seat height is unchanged just below 30 inches Honda has updated the LED headlight giving it a sleeker look while the LCD dash now has a gear indicator so that's another thing too so the um they and on top of them having uh, you know including five speeds now um they also have a gear indicator on the tack as well but i mean it's stupid because even though there's five speeds it's really just pushing out just a little bit more horse and the, the top speed is still the same so with the benefit of the five speed i mean i don't know if it's gonna really go much faster i might have a little bit of of a uh, you know speed increase because of the extra gear but i mean i don't know yeah, that's it right here so yeah so here we go so single cylinder 125 cc born stroke so maximum horsepower is 9.7 uh, i know the weight is still the same thing we still have the uh, electronic fuel injection still air cooled and let's see um front and rear still the same v rubber tires that everybody hates so you're probably going to toss those out to the side as well and wheelbase everything here practically looks the same now the fuel tank is slightly bigger than the other ones as well so that's interesting curb weight yeah still pretty much the same from what i know this is available in two colors so this is one of the colors right here it's like a gray with the black and if you go onto this site right here this is the other color which is red i kind of like the red right here too it's pretty cool another thing you'll notice too are these um circles right here so they made it very easy to where you can take the side panels off so i can imagine in the future this the new bike is going to be very customizable with you know all kinds of different panels that they're going to make with it as well if you look here um here's another 
picture of the um, of what the uh, indicators look like right here so we still have our digital tack and everything speed and then our gear indicator right here too so we got our five gears and then our you know fuel gauge and time and everything too however this is what kind of really drew my attention check this out right there that to me looks like a oil filter so it's similar to like if you get the uh, upgrade the uh, clutch cover everything too so no more stupid spinner to deal with and screen to clean out so that to me is a major plus I like that back right there as well that's pretty cool you know so I mean okay so it's cool that they have the five speed five speeds versus the four however I would have liked to have seen like a bigger engine I mean maybe even like a 150 or something you know would have made it pretty cool but I don't know I mean I guess having the five speeds if you did mod it and everything um i don't know it could have some advantages to it i'm still not sure how much i really do like this bike compared to the old one i don't know i'm just curious to see when it's going to hit the states and to see exactly what the prices are i don't know you're cold. I do like that red. That's kind of cool. That is nice. I don't know. It's too bad. I can't really get too much more information on how they, how it runs and everything too. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming along the way. <laughs> There's not much here that's saying about it, but. Well, well, honey, I mean, I'm curious to see what your guys' thoughts are. I mean, to me, so the pluses on this thing, the five-speed gearbox, yeah, that's that's kind of cool, but it'd be nice to have a little more extra power. Um, this seat, I like the fact that there's a little extra cushion. Um, some people prefer the seat of the uh, of the SF Grom here because it's got this little bit of angle, so when you do wheelies and stuff, you can kind of, you know, you can hold yourself in the, when you push yourself to the back more. So that's kind of cool, but on the other hand, I mean, and as you can see here, see on the OG how that's flatter compared to the SF has more of an angle. So that's kind of like what they did right here on the new one is they made it more flatter like the old one. So kind of interesting too, but I don't know. I'm curious to see uh, what your guys' thoughts are on this 2021. I'm curious also to see what the price is. You know, I really have no interest in getting a new one at the moment right now. I am totally happy with my SF Grom. But, I mean, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Um, Throw me some comments down below and, and, and see. I mean, I'm not really that crazy about the look. Same mirrors. I mean, that headlight to me is freaking ugly. I don't know. I'm, I'm just curious to see once one of these are completely modded up, you know, uh, to see how much faster they'll go. I did hear rumor, too, that these are going to be more friendly with uh, like big board kits and everything. So that would be interesting. If you get a big board kit on this thing with the intake exhaust freaking tuned out and you know, and all your other mods, this thing could potentially be a pretty quick bike, probably almost highway friendly, you know? So I don't know. I'd like to know what you guys thoughts are. Do you guys like the new, the 2021 or do you hate it? I don't know. To me, I'm still kind of undecided on if I like it or not. Who knows? But I mean, I don't know. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. And um, I don't know. I'll look more into this and see. If the dealers around me, I already contacted the dealers. No, I mean, and of course, I mean, because this bike is not available in the U.S. But if it ever does become available, I will hop right on that and take this thing for a test spin or check it out in person just to, just to kind of get another, uh, you know, in-depth review of this new bike as well too so if that ever happens i will make another video for it but i want to see what you guys' thoughts are on this thing as well so i'm going to conclude this video um let me know what your thoughts are please uh hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh i'll catch you guys on the next one you guys ride safe out there and i'll uh, see you on the next peace out